second thing and the most important thing now is, in my opinion, because of the study that I've done and the cancer patients that I've talked to, is ionized water. Hmm. Ionized water, most people don't know about it, and I didn't know about it. When I went out to research and, and find out what cancer patients can drink, almost everything you, you buy today is acid. You can't go to a store and buy anything hardly that's, that's not acid as far as drinks are concerned. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can drink Gatorade and Coca-Cola. Pop is 2.5 pH. That's slightly above stomach acid. Why would you drink that? And so I went about studying water. And unfortunately, most of the water, bottled water, whatever, is acidic water. Your bottled water was bottled from a year to three years ago by the time you get it. It's been sitting in a plastic bottle. Hmm. How good is that for you? Mm -hmm. Tap water is neutral largely and sometimes a little bit alkaline because they have to make it that way. So they put lye in it and they put other things in your tap water to bring it up so that it is, it is neutral or alkaline. Do you want to drink that water with fluoride and chlorine and arsenic and everything else that's in it? So I went around and uh, started looking at the companies that made um, ionizing equipment. They're, they're little machines that sit on your counter. They split the water molecule into acid and, and alkaline. That's the short version. And they produce acid water, which goes down the drain, and alkaline water, which you drink. Mm 